top stories now. An author, Salman Rushdie, was stabbed on stage in New York and is currently on ventilator. He, the attack took place on stage within minutes when a man dressed in black lunged at Rushdie on stage. Witnesses described that he was seen making stabbing motions at Rushdie at least eight to ten times. The author is said to have been stabbed once at least on the neck and on his abdomen. As per reports, he's on ventilator and is likely to lose vision in one eye and his liver has been badly damaged. Meanwhile, cops have arrested a 24-year-old man named Hedi Matar, suspected to be the attacker. Though the writer had a fatwa against him issued by Iran after his controversial book, Satanic Verses, back in 1988, and there were allegations of the book being blasphemous, he, the exact motive behind the attack is unclear. Mr. Rushdie came out at 1045 with the moderator. Um, that was Henry Reese the co-founder of City Asylum. Um, and uh, people began to applaud. They uh, sat down. And then with within 15 seconds, someone jumped into the stage and began to beat him. A male human came and attacked Salman Rushdie. I thought that he was stabbed about six to eight times before they were able to grab a hold of the perpetrator. And then I was pretty much frozen in my steps and took quite a few minutes to even just get myself to a seat to sit down because it was just, nobody knew what to do. Nobody knew how to react. I mean, there were tons of people that rushed the stage. The suspect has been identified as Haiti Matar, age 24, from Fairview, New Jersey. Uh, earlier today at approximately 1047 a.m., Guest speakers Solomon Rushdie, age 75, and Ralph Henry Reese, age 73, had just arrived on stage at the institution. Uh, shortly thereafter, the suspect jumped onto the stage and attacked Mr. Rushdie, stabbing him at least once in the neck and at least once in the abdomen. First of all, Salman Rushdie is one of the greatest living writers today. Uh, Midnight's Children is seen as one of the greatest books that has been written in the second half of the 20th century and after. So that's really the most important thing. Uh, Salman Rushdie has written great books after that. Shame and others have been exceptional books. The point here is the Satanic Verses was written in 1988 or so. And that is at least 10 years before. Uh, the alleged uh, attempted assassin, uh, Hadi Matar, was even born. He's only 24 years old. This book was written about 35 years ago. So the fact that there is still hatred just because of that book is actually surprising. This was all so long ago. That's the first thing. And of course, there was, uh, there was a huge furor after that. And at that time, uh, there was a fatwa against him. He was, uh, he was in hiding for a long period of time. He had policemen uh, all over him, uh, all around him. So all that was there. And he has himself written about his experiences uh, in a very fine novel, a book uh, called Joseph Conrad. Uh, it's freely available, very uh, recently written. Now, at this point, the only positive that comes is that he will he is progressing yes he has been badly injured yes he's 75 years old but yes he may lose one eye he has been uh, he has a damaged liver he's on the ventilator but it looks like he's getting the best possible treatment and also the best possible care and attention which suggests that he will survive this attack Breaking update coming in, and this is a fresh reaction to Salman Rushdie attack coming in from the White House, where White House has in fact called the attack appalling and said that all of us are praying for his recovery and thankful to first responders who came to attend to Salman Rushdie.